Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is the end of chapter one. This is uh, chapter one, lesson seven, called Distance in the Coordinate Plane. Now, you're probably looking at this right now and saying, what's wrong with you, Mr. C? You said we're done with graphing. We are done with graphing for the most part. Um, this is very, very, very basic. And the only reason I have this, what's on the screen right now, um, is because I'm going to do this lesson assuming that each of you have this background knowledge. You should have this knowledge because we've talked about it this year plenty of times. Plus, I know you've done this in seventh and probably in sixth grade, if not even before then. Um, but this is basic stuff. Do you know what a y-axis, x-axis is? Do you know which quadrant is quadrant one, two, three, and four? Do you know where the origin is? Okay, we've talked about all of these things. What is an ordered pair? What's an x-coordinate? What's a y-coordinate? If you don't know what these things are for some reason, pause the screen, read it over, write it down, review, get familiar. Um, but considering I think you should have this background knowledge, let's get into this lesson and see how it applies to um, triangles, right triangles, and specifically the Pythagorean theorem. So what happens when you've got a question like this? Find the distance between point C, which is located at 2, 2, and point D, which is located at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 6, 5. Okay, we've got these two points. How can I find the distance from here up to here? Okay. Um, I wish that I could um, have you pause the video and think for a minute without me. I know that not everyone's going to do that, but think about how could you find distance from here to here. Now, some of you might already be seeing, huh, I have, and that's a horribly crooked line, um, but I have right here a right triangle. And if I have a right triangle, I can find any of the sides as long as I know at least two of them. This is the hypotenuse. It's across from the right angle. And I do know that this side is 1. Let me show you with 1, 2, 3, 4. This side is 4, we'll call it 4 units long. And this side is 1, 2, 3 units long. Well, with that in mind, I can use the Pythagorean theorem to figure out that hypotenuse. Some simple math is all I need to do. What is the distance from C to D? Well, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25, and if I square root both sides, I find out that the hypotenuse would be 5 units long. And this, this is today's lesson. Can you find the distance from two points? And you can, anytime you want to, using the Pythagorean theorem, at any point. I know that there could be a question, and I'm not going to give you one, where the points are tremendous distances apart. Um, but you can still do that. There's another way to do it you'll learn in the future. Um, maybe we'll go over it in class just for a little extra. But... 99% of the time you can use the Pythagorean Theorem. Um, just connect your sides, count the units, and then fill it in. Let's do one more just so you can see it. Um, if I had a point, and let's change this up. Let's do, let's do some random points. Let's do negative 3, 1, and let's plot that negative 3, 1, and what if we had a point, I don't know, let's do one down here. So this is negative 1, negative 1, 2, 3. Negative 1, negative 3. All right, point C, point D, what's the distance between these two points? Well, Pythagorean theorem, I can form myself a right triangle. Those lines look a little bit straighter than last time. This is two units long. This is one, two, three, four units long. So two squared plus four squared equals 
c squared, that would be 4 plus 16 equals c squared, 20. And then your answer is going to be the square root of 20. That's going to break down to some decimal, um, some decimal that's between 4 and 5. I know just from estimating. Um, I'm not going to do that right now. I would say I'm always going to give you directions if someone doesn't. You should just always probably round to the nearest tenth, maybe the nearest hundredth to be safe, um, but you should get four point something. And that does make sense because that would make this the longest side, even though it's just a little bit longer than four. Four point anything is longer, so that would be the hypotenuse, and that makes sense. And that's today's lesson. We're just going to look at... Um, I'll leave this one up really quickly for those of you who want to pause the video and try it yourself. Um, the first point would be here. That's point C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, if you think you got this, you can pause and try yourself, or you can just kind of fast forward to the next thing. Um, please don't skip over the word problems, but let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units long, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six, seven, eight units long. So I think you can pretty much see what's going to happen. Okay, square root both sides. After you add them together, obviously, 64 plus 25 is 89, I believe. So the square root of 89 is equal to C. And that's going to be um, 8 point something, I'm not sure off the top of my head. You can just plug it into your calculator and get the exact answer. Again, round to the nearest tenth or the nearest hundredth. That's just always a good habit to do. Remember, don't just go to the nearest whole number. That's not, be, be more precise in, what, in your doings. Um, now let's look at a word problem and we'll be done. Your school, and you don't need a graph paper for this just by the way. Um, when you have the actual values. You can just kind of draw it yourself. So we're talking about a school. I put S for school. Okay, your school is three miles south of your house. So I should have read the problem before I drew it. Bad, Mr. C. Read the problem first. Your school is three miles south of your house. So that means it has to be below your house. I had no room up there to draw. Here's the school. Here's your house. Okay, the distance between those is three miles. The park is five miles east of your school. Okay, east is this direction, and that's five miles. And this is uh, the park. So I'm going to put P for park. To the nearest mile, so I'm rounding to the nearest mile. How far is your house from the park? This is what I want to find. So I'm going to use Pythagorean's theorem because this would be the right angle. Okay, 9 plus 25 equals x squared. 9 plus 25 is 34. And if you square root both sides, you're going to get x is equal to the square root of 34, which is 5 point something. Again, if you're using your calculator, round it to the nearest mile. Um, and then that's it. That's today's lesson in a nutshell. Finding the distance between two points. You can find the distance between any two points by using the Pythagorean theorem most of the time because it's going to form a right triangle if you have two other um, two other places. Here is your summary questions. Please give them a try. Um, do them in your notebook. Show your work. Review the video. Pause. Um, take some notes if you need to. Bring these into class. We'll go over them. And that's it for this chapter. So you've got everything you need to be ready um, for a test and or just a long quiz on this. Uh, of course we'll practice this in class, I'll answer any of your questions, but if you need um, 
something answered before then, just send me an email and I'll get back to you. Um, but that's that, and I will see you tomorrow.